So Shockma is currently streaming on Tubi, and it is a killer baboon movie that takes place in this medical school, this big building. These medical students are playing live-action role-playing or doing some LARPing with their t-shirt, and they lock the building down, and then they find out that one of their baboons that they were supposed to cremate is still alive. And it's on the loose, and it's killing them one by one. This was a patron request from Nate Malice, who changed his request after saying to do Burial Ground. And I was like, I remember not liking that movie. And then so he changed it to this, Shockma, a movie that I had not seen before. And I wish he would have just stuck with Burial Ground, because I fucking hated this movie. Getting into what I don't like about the movie is I just could not stand the look of the movie from beginning to end. This has such a cheap, low-budget, like, made-for-TV film quality, like, even fades to black in moments. Like, are we going to commercial break? Like, it just looks and feels like made-for-TV, but I don't think it was. It's so cheap beginning to end. The sets, the whole setting, it's dull. There's every hallway, every room looks the same. It's colorless, lifeless. It's boring to look at. It's a boring movie. It's an hour and 40 minutes long, and it has no reason to be that long. This simple premise could have been told in 80 to 85 minutes easily. It does not need to be an hour and 40 minutes long. And these characters are all so thin. I don't fucking care for a single soul in this film. I was actually rooting for Shockman by the end. Like, please, just fucking kill this guy already. And... So, in the direction, flat, like, horribly directed. Just Let's just put the camera here. There's no style at all. It's just like, single, you know, shots. Just put the camera here, put the camera here. No movement, hardly ever. All the attack sequences from the Shockma uh, are just, it's very one-note repetitive. It's just like, all right, we're going to show the monkey jump towards the camera. It's going to jump in their lap, and then we'll just cut away. And then we won't even show gore or, you know, the... The aftermath is just like, let's just throw a little bit of blood in their face. Let's not actually do any practical effects. I was expecting more after they opened with this kind of gory, like, uh, brain surgery. They're, like, cutting open an animal, and they're, you know, you see, like, the brain, and then after that, there's no more gore. This movie takes itself very seriously, and it's trying to be, like, scary, but it's painfully not scary at all. There's no suspense. There's no humor at least try to throw some humor in here to make my suffering not so much, you know, like make me chuckle from time to time. But no, it's not funny. It's not scary. No suspense. Nothing of redeeming value here. Hardly at all. Like uh, like the sound design, the music, hated it also. Like it was starting to really just bug me just hearing every single fucking footstep. It was like that uh, that fan film, you know how... People complain about that Never Hike Alone, like every footstep from Jason sounds like it's been amplified. That's like this movie almost, like it's such a like quiet, empty hospital school, whatever the fuck that they're at. Like you just hear every footstep from everybody, including the baboon, like it's just echoing off the halls, like the, this, just the echoing footsteps were starting to piss me off and the music sucked. It's just so poorly written. You got... No interesting characters. You got this subplot with this girl who's coming back a few hours later. You think she's going to join and do something important? No, she's just wasted character after wasted character. Nothing, just nothing good about the movie at all. Like, uh, the only thing I liked was seeing Roddy McDowell in here and Amanda Weiss from A Nightmare on Elm Street. I was like, oh, cool. So we got some horror actors in this and they're the best actors in the movie and I, sh I thought the setup for this story was ridiculous like the whole idea that these med students including their professor are doing LARPing I was like all right that's different that's I was not expecting that and but th that wasn't even really interesting once it got going like they don't even try to make the game interesting so it's like Shockma is not interesting. The attack sequences are not interesting, and then the fucking LARPing's not interesting. Like, what do we actually see about in this game? Like, what do we see them do? Like, we 
just see them go room to room and then they see like writing on chalkboards like how fucking interesting is that the game's not fun the movie's not fun Ugh. and but i did like that one character died shockingly early that i was expecting to make it like to the end you know i was like holy shit they actually killed that character i was shocked i was like well, they didn't die on camera, but then again, no one else did either. But I was like, so maybe she's, you know, spoiler, she, one of the girls, I was like, maybe she's still alive. But then they show her dead, like, right after that. And I was like, oh, wow, they actually killed her. So I kind of liked that because it surprised me. Uh, but that's it. Fuck this movie. So final thoughts. This is a tedious, low-budget, killer animal movie. All one location. One incredibly boring, dull location. With characters you don't know, you don't like, and you end up rooting for this damn shockma baboon by the end to fucking murder them all. And it just extremely lacks style, atmosphere, thrills, humor, uh, creativity, just so much. So when it comes to shockma, fuck this movie. I'm giving it one out of five. Alright, quick spoiler discussion. I hope, Nate, that you don't love this movie and that's why you requested it. I'm hoping that this is exactly what you wanted. You recommended me a shit film because you wanted to see me pissed off. Uh, so, uh, but if you love it, I'm sorry. Um, where am I? Why am I sorry? No, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I fucking hated the movie. I'm sorry, not sorry. So, uh, we get this gory surgery in the opening, but that's about all the gore you're going to get. And, you know, it's funny, like... 10, 15 minutes in, I was thinking, like, I hope the whole movie is not going to take place here. And that's exactly what ends up happening. The whole fucking movie takes place at this boring-ass hospital. I mean, you don't know where the fuck they are, because every room, every hall looks the same. They almost look like they just went to some abandoned place. They, like, there was, like, sheets over things. I don't know. It was just such a boring fucking place. And then you get these very dated, like, computers, the cartoony graphics and the sound design of these graphics they're setting up this tracker thing that doesn't really do dick later on like they somehow are, aren't able to call the cops like they shut down the phones too like they lock themselves inside this building to play their larping shit and then like only one person has the keys like that's a fucking fire hazard like they're just stupid so sam he's ordered to kill shakma and doesn't do it because he loves this thing so much, but we never really see a connection between him and Shakma. We don't get a connection between any of these characters. They're just so paper thin, like horny students, a couple like the men characters in this movie, they're all just constantly flirting with women, just typical. And like, so he's like, oh, I love this monkey too much, or this baboon, so I'm not going to kill it. And then, like, he grabs the wrong thing, but was that on purpose, or was that just an accident because he was too distracted? Like, he grabs the wrong thing, injects the thing, and then the one dude just doesn't fucking cremate it for some reason, and then it's let loose, killing these dumbasses one by one. And it's all Sam's fault. It's all his fault, so therefore I want him dead. And then he's the one that makes it to the very fucking end. So it's like, I'm supposed to root for this jackass? No, I want him dead. I thought it was interesting that he writes down Shakma, but it's spelled differently than the title. Like the title card and the poster says S-H-A-K-M-A, -A, but this dude, Richard, writes it down S-H-O-C-K-M-A. So it's like, they don't even know how to spell it in the movie. For some reason, there's a Ouija board at a medical school, just sitting on the shelf in the background, like out of the box, just sitting up like why is there a ouija board there i guess they play more than just larping at this medical school richard gets a thing of acid to throw on shakma but then never uses it he has a couple of seconds to do it the monkey whatever i'm just gonna keep saying monkey whatever baboon monkey it's easier for me to say monkey so the monkey is running towards him he has a couple of seconds to quickly just go throw it on his fucking face but he doesn't he just gets mauled killed off camera and that's the story for every kill movie. Oh my gosh, monkey! And then they die off camera. No effects done, just pff, blood. Just throw some ketchup on their face. Shoddy effects, it's bullshit. And then they grab this flashing light device that does nothing. So I was like, what the fuck was the point of that thing? What was, this what was its purpose? What was it supposed to do? It did nothing. And then Tracy, Amanda Weiss, she gets herself killed like an idiot. She runs in the bathroom where she, she's just going to be stuck there. 
And then, like, instead of just holding the door shut, she just gives up and starts running into the bathroom stall where the monkey can clearly, easily just get underneath and attack her. And it does. It kills her. Bye-bye. Then we get to the situation that's in a lot of movies where someone's shouting for help from far away, but the person that they're trying to get the attention of has, like, the car radio blasted so they can't hear anything. Uh, but what a missed opportunity to not have, like, Peter Gabriel's Shock the Monkey playing because of the title of the movie. Like, when I heard Shockma, I was, and it's like a monkey movie, I was instantly like, oh, Shockma Monkey. Like, they should have played that song in the movie. What a missed opportunity. And so, yeah, then we get a cat scare. Oh, how original. And so, yeah, Kim, the princess, she gets killed off camera and it fades to black. I thought we were going to go to commercials. Feels very made for TV. So, now it's just... Sam, he calls the cops, and he's got this stupid look on his face, his, like, shocked look on his face. It's just overacting. He's terrible. Uh, and he just, he's too shocked or something to speak. He's on the phone with the cops, like, hello, anyone there? And he's like, uh, 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 I can't say anything. And then he just hangs up, says nothing. Because I guess he's like, oh, this is my responsibility. Yeah, it really is, because you're supposed to fucking kill that thing, and you let it go. Fuck this guy. So... He feels it's his fault. It is. He has all this guilt, so he's going to go finally do what he could have done an hour ago and fucking grab a weapon and go attack the monkey. He, like, starts, like, setting up traps, and he's, like, turning into Nancy at the end of Nightmare on Elm Street. He's taking wires. He's rigging shit up. He's taping knives to the end of broomsticks. Like, where was this creativity and thought process an hour or two ago? So it's so fucking like contrived. I couldn't believe it. So Shockman, I guess, is just immune to electricity. He sets up this electric trap. He's gonna like grab something. He'll flip a switch. It's gonna electrocute the monkey. Seems like it works at first. You hear the monkey scream, ah, and then it's gone in the blink of an eye. Like where the fuck did it go? So apparently Shockman is immune to electricity, and so yeah, and then he survives a stabbing to like the back of the head. The monkey does, and it bites Sam, and then Sam uh, dies of AIDS, and that's the end of the movie. No, I wish that's how it ended. Now, he uses some mirror trick. We've seen that before, and then he cremates the monkey like he was supposed to fucking do hours before the end. So that's the end of Shockma. What are your thoughts on this garbage film? Let me know in the comments below. If you love it, let me know why. What, what, what am I not seeing? I thought this movie was terrible. I, I don't know. Let me know. Uh... Uh, as always, if you like what you've seen here, you can hit this like button and become a subscriber today just by clicking on my cartoon face in about five seconds. And remember, it's all an opinion. You don't need to get butthurt about it.